What's going on everyone, it's your boy Wes, back at you another video. Today, I'll be giving you tips on how to win at Explodo Cube on Pocket 7 games. With that being said, let's get it cracking. The basics. If you ever played a game like Candy Crest, then Explodo Cube is going to feel familiar, even if it does kick things up a notch. The rules are simple. Tap on any set of two or more matching color blocks to crush them and score points. There are a bunch of randomly generated arrangements of cubes that will show up and your main goal will be shown on the top of the screen. Usually you'll have to eliminate a certain number of special boxes to complete the level. Getting rid of color cubes above or next to the special cubes will help knock them out. Major components and tips. Goals. Don't forget the actual goals of the level. Sometimes people get carried away with blasting and racking up combos that that completely neglects the goals of the level. The goals is in the middle of the top of the board. Each level has a different goal. Focus on that and make that your number one priority. Time. This is very important as well. With time comes bonus points. The faster you complete each level, the more bonus points they give you. Also, when the time runs out, the game is over. No matter what level you are on, when your time runs out, that's it. It's over. So pay close attention to your time along with accomplishing your goals moves each level allows you a certain amount of moves before the game notifies you that you're out of moves do you want to redeem more moves sacrificing points or just submit your score and end the game if you choose to sacrifice points for moves the game will grant you five more moves to proceed playing the game keep in mind this can be a very costly option because every time you sacrifice points for five moves, the game multiplies it for every single time. So for example, the first time you redeem moves for points, the game charges you about 200 points. After that, 400, 600, etc. So in this particular situation, decision making is very, very important. I would strongly suggest to see how many points you have what can five moves actually do to give you a significant amount of points? If those five moves won't make a positive impact on your score, then I would highly suggest you just end the game and submit your score. Important reminder, keep an eye on your time. There are two constraints in your game, moves and time. Both give you a bonus when you've accomplished the target set out, but your moves reset after each level. Your time doesn't. While you're playing the first level, make sure you don't use more than half of your time. The second level is tricky and will require more time. Power-ups and items. The rocket. If you get five colors together, the game will reward you a rocket. This power-up clears one column or row depending on which direction it's aimed. The bomb. If you get seven colors, this power-up will clear a square of cubes around where you ignited at. The Rubik's Cube. If you get nine of the same colors together, this will appear. And whatever color appears on a Rubik's Cube, that's the color it will clear on the board. Stacking. This is a super important tip. If you hold on to your power-ups and put them next to each other, it will help you maximize your points and clear the board as quickly as possible. Although it is an optimal tip to use, you're not 100% in control of what items you get that you can stack with each other. So it will be wise to only spend a little bit of time trying to stack items together. If you see it's not possible to do such, move on to the next area and task at hand. Create room. In some levels, you have only a little room to work with. In that case, don't go over the playing field looking for combinations, but focus on one area so you'll have room to work and enough space to create the extras. High score. The best way to obtain a high score is to get as many power-ups as you can to break multiple colors. Utilize a little bit of moves to complete the goals under a small amount of time. If you really want to max out your winnings, you must consistently be thinking about combos. In closing, Exploder Q can seem a bit overwhelming at first glance, but over time when you apply the tips I mentioned, 
if you focus on mainly completion of the goals, stacking power-ups, being a fast decision maker, finishing at a good time, earning tons of bonus points, you will be a pro in no time and be able to earn tons of tickets and some cash playing Explodo Cube. With that being said, this is your boy Wes. I'm out of here. Peace.